Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alice Takeover. Yeah, Takeover isn't actually my last name, but it's just for fun. In today's video, we're going to be diving into a topic that we've all encountered at some point, dealing with agents or photographers that are just downright rude. Having the ability to address rude topics is a valuable skill set to have as a model. If you're ready to learn some strategies on how to handle these types of situations with grace, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump right in. The first rule of thumb when dealing with rudeness is to maintain your composure. Take a deep breath and breathe and avoid responding with anger or frustration. Keeping a level head allows you to approach the situation with more clarity. Plus, if a photographer brings up a topic that seems clearly rude to you, they more than likely are trying to get a rise out of you on purpose. Don't feed into these negative emotions. Instead, prepare yourself to address this topic in a more nonchalant manner, in a calm way. Before you ever respond to a photographer's rudeness, take a moment to assess the situation. Consider if the rudeness is intentional or if there might be external factors influencing the photographer's actions. Understanding the context will help guide you to a better approach. When addressing this individual, use calm and polite language. Responding with kindness can sometimes diffuse tension and encourage a more positive interaction. Phrases like, I appreciate your perspective, but can help keep the conversation more civil. It's essential to set boundaries when faced with rudeness. Clearly communicate what behavior is unacceptable and express the expectation for respectful communication. Establishing boundaries helps create a healthier dynamic overall. A great example of this is if a photographer brings up that they've seen your work on paid fan sites. This is an unfortunately common rude opening line for a photographer to bring up to a model. If I'm not so offended that I end the photo shoot right away and leave, I will tell the photographer that my fan sites are not a part of my modeling work and that this is an irrelevant topic to bring up and to not bring it up again because I'm not there to film paid website work. I'm there to model for their project. Not every rude comment or action requires a direct response. Choose your battles more wisely. Sometimes it's more beneficial to just let minor incidents slide rather than escalating the situation further. I just simply choose to ignore a photographer's comments when they're clearly not all there. <laughs> if they're not trying to antagonize me on purpose and they don't pose any threat to my safety, I usually just get through the photo shoot and I just will never schedule another photo shoot with them in the future. If the rudeness is unclear or it seems unintentional, consider seeking more clarification. Politely ask for more information or more context to better understand the person's perspective. This can open up the door to a more constructive conversation. Active listening is crucial in these types of situations. Allow this person to express themselves fully without interruption. It'll demonstrate your willingness to understand their point of view even if you disagree. As I mentioned earlier that when rudeness reaches a certain level. I'm not afraid to leave a photo shoot. If the situation escalates or it becomes toxic, it is okay to disengage. Politely excuse yourself from the conversation or step away from the situation. Your mental health is top priority and you don't have to deal with anyone's BS. And if it gets to a certain point, I made another video that I'll link up here where you can learn about how to leave a photo shoot gracefully, especially if you feel like you're in a dangerous position and you can't like feel like you can leave in a safe way. I, I have some advice on that as well. It's in this video, I'll link up here. To summarize all of that stuff, dealing with rude photographers can be challenging, but approaching it with grace and assertiveness is going to help lead to more positive outcomes. If you found these tips helpful, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to leave your experiences down in the comments down below of photographers that you've ran into that are a pain in the butt and how you went ahead and dealt with their rude behavior. And feel free to subscribe for more discussions on navigating the modeling industry's challenges. Until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>